How's it going everybody and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Jonathan with Boston Collectors and in today's video we'll be unboxing the newly released Dark Trooper from The Mandalorian. Now I went ahead and picked up two and for some reason I'd like to have a couple more even though I don't have a space for them. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and start with the box. Like every Mandalorian figure release, we have a burnt orange and amber-like colorway on the cigar band featuring the Dune Sea in the background. If you're one to shelf your figures with the information facing you rather than the photo of the character, you have that option. As for the rest of the cigar band, we have two photos of the Dark Trooper providing alternative posing ideas for your display. Or you can store your art box with the photo of the figure facing you as well. Right above the cigar band, we also have the reflective Star Wars engraved logo. And as always, Hot Toys can't let us go without the figure information, warnings, and legal info on the back of the box. If that's something you enjoy reading, then you're good to go. Before diving in, we also have the main image on the front of the art box, which looks really menacing. And for curious minds, we also have the Star Wars logo beneath the box as well. Diving into it, Hot Toys gave us an art card that might tempt you into buying more than one. I can't fault him for it, honestly. Not to mention the photo looks pretty good. With the box out of the way though, let's go ahead and start the review. If you like what you see so far, consider liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Also, don't forget to follow us over on Instagram for our weekly six scale notables and join our community Discord server. Links in the description below. Right out of the box, the Dark Trooper is equipped with a pair of relaxed hands. These aren't articulated and before you ask, for some reason we don't have a pair of articulated hands. These have sort of a soft, flexible feel to them and they look pretty decent. One small thing to note, this figure doesn't have extra pegs in the box. Instead, the peg system is on the figure itself, so if that breaks, you're kinda SOL. Moving on, we also have a pair of fists included in the box. Understandably so, right? Well, on occasion, Hot Toys seem to drop the ball every once in a while, so I'm just glad to see they didn't with this release. Next up, we also have one right trigger hand included. Unfortunately, we don't have a left trigger finger, even though we can actually see the Dark Troopers using them in their left hand in the show. Placing the gun in this hand is very easy and it looks pretty decent. Speaking of the gun, you can store it on the figure by magnetizing it to the right side of the trooper's leg. There's also a removable clip included as well. It's fairly easy to apply it to the weapon. However, keep in mind though, you can't magnetize the gun on the figure with the clip installed. Last but not least, as far as hands go, we have one left gripping hand. This can be used for holding Grogu, Mando, or the weapon included with the figure. As I said earlier, there are troopers in the show gripping the gun to the right as well. It's just unfortunate we didn't get a pair. As for the final accessory, we have the display base. These are the best standard bases I've seen for Star Wars figures from Hot Toys. I love the graded design and the added depth. They also provided a crotch cradler that can actually hold the figure up pretty well. A word of caution though, don't keep placing the figure on the stand without controlling how the crotch cradler interact with the Dark Trooper. You'll either risk scratching the paint application on the mech parts or leaving nasty scratches on the gloss. Again, it does hold it up pretty well. While there isn't too much to discuss with the portrait, it is a new design for Hot Toys. In my opinion, they captured the menacing appearance of the Dark Trooper very well. 
There are light up features in the eyes, but we'll share more on that later. For now, there's a great amount of range in the figure's neck, allowing the Dark Trooper to look up or down as if they're deactivated. I really love the lines and the curves in the Trooper's portrait. It's very reminiscent of Darth Vader's mask. Well, in my opinion. Even with the lights off, you can tell the eyes on the figure are red. It isn't as dark as Darth Vader's lenses either. As for accessing the battery portion, the top of the helmet can detach revealing the battery compartment. Once the batteries are installed, simply flip the switch and watch the Dark Trooper come to life. It is apparent that one light is lighting both eyes, but they are pretty bright on their own with the included batteries. So, this figure is very similar to IG-11 in some ways, but not so much in others. There's a lot of great engineering with this figure that can make it fun to play and pose with. Originally, I was worried about the bulky appearance of the figure. Well, you don't have to worry because the shoulders can drastically change the appearance of the Dark Trooper. Another great feature for posers who are looking for a slight variation between figures. We'll have more on that in the height section. The elbow and knee joints are on very hard ratchets, which are all in fact die cast. Trust me, when this figure is in a pose, it's not going anywhere unless you change it. There are also swivels on both elbows at the bicep. And a swivel and bend at the wrist as well. Hot Toys left no stone unturned with the engineering. If you have an Iron Man figure, there are a few cool nods featured on the Dark Trooper. For example, you can shrug the shoulders or go for a wider range of motion by moving the shoulder joint on its hinge. I really love what this figure is capable of. There are also smaller moving pieces found around the waist on the figure. The side flaps, which could be used for taking flight, are on a hinge. There are also smaller pouches on the front as well. The legs are on a swivel near the hip. Again, I just really love how well they blended it with the mechanical bits. At the waist, the torso can perform a 360 swivel, and at the chest, the figure can look up or down. Another really cool feature is detaching the figure at the middle. There's a small piece holding the figure together on the front that you'll have to remove. Once you're done, give it a slight pull and you're set. If you notice, there's a subtle clip at the bottom that acts as backup, holding the torso together. The upper body of the figure is very well balanced and could look cool later on alongside Luke's release. You aren't exactly missing out on the light up feature since everything is lit from the waist up. Again, the balance on this is too good. If it isn't all it's cracked up to be, it's really easy to attach the two pieces back together. Just don't lose the piece holding the midsection together though. There's one more light up section to this figure we should probably discuss. It's well hidden behind the figure's back plate. Once the batteries are in, hit the switch and you're set. The lights are static, so if they flicker or have a specific pattern, you should probably reach out to customer service. Either way, I love the extra bit of life added to the figure through the light-up feature. Lastly, you think we get thruster fire in the feet? We didn't. It's possible to pull something off though if you have the effects from the 501st. They aren't perfect, but it's something. To start, we have the Beskar Mandalorian, the Transport Trooper, Moff Gideon, Boba Fett, Luke Skywalker, the Death Trooper, Grogu, and last but not least, Darth Vader. Before we end this segment, there is a way to make the Dark Troopers appear slightly taller. There's a drop in the hip that will allow for more posing and a taller appearance. If you're looking at army build, one could look more like the captain if that's what you'd like. 
Even with the extra height though, Vader still stands slightly taller. I mentioned the downsides earlier, so I won't go over them again. If I could have one thing, it would be a diorama of the unit they were in before being activated. Either that or maybe even some magnetized flames to go over the trooper as well. All in all though, I really love this figure. I might not pose them much in my display, but the presence from the Dark Troopers are definitely felt. Especially alongside Moff Gideon, the Death Troopers, or they even look amazing behind Vader as well. If I had to rate this release, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. Outside of the pairs of hands that I mentioned earlier in the review, at the very least, I really feel like we should have received a pair of articulated hands. Other than that, the engineering in this figure is really, really good. If you're looking for presents, you don't have to look any further. As always, if you enjoyed the review, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Stay tuned for the Chrome Trooper, Miles Morales, and more. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the flippity flop.